Hello and welcome everyone. How are you today? Well, today I'm doing this new moon in the sign of Libra, uh, ruled by planet Venus. And then we have this blue moon. Uh, the new moon is going to be on Friday, October 16th in Libra sign, which is my rising sign, ruled by planet Venus. And then uh, at the end of the month, uh, we have a blue moon, two full moons in one month. It's known as a blue moon in the sign of Taurus, Earth element. Taurus, also ruled by Venus. Okay? So I'm finding that fascinating in the respect. And, you know, I follow some astrology sites. And I forget which one I got this one. Because it, it doesn't say, it just says the name of it, blue moon and Taurus. But it says here, Venus rules. I just printed it up today. Venus rules, Libra and Taurus. Relationships or love may be imp impotent to them. They learn and grow most through these relationships with others. Can be very affectionate and romantic when they want to be. Luxury, beauty, and nice things are what they enjoy. <laughs> so, you know, and, and Planet Venus is all about that love and beauty. And, and, and of course, she's the empress in um, the tarot. And I have my Thelema deck here. That's the Empress for this deck. So we have the Thelema deck. I also brought forward this other deck that I don't work with too much. The Tarot Mucha. But this is all feminine receptive kind of a tarot. So I, I brought it out. Um, the artwork is very, uh, very, very beautiful. It really is. It's uh, Italian. Did the And this is, you've heard her, I'm sure, before. Lunaya, Weatherstone. I think I have another deck of hers that I don't use too much. But I brought this one out because I did want this double-double kind of feminine receptive. So we have the Thelema deck. And then we have the uh, Tarot Mucha as my tarot decks. But I, w I brought in, for the first time, more oracles because, you know, I love the unis. And so I brought forward the Oracle of the Unicorns, which... I don't know if I've used this on my table yet. I think maybe once or twice. But I, I used to uh, work with Diana Cooper's Unicorn cards a lot. So I brought out both of them. Okay, so we have them here. And then I have this deck for another pull, Relationship Cards. Uh, and these are just quick, you know, look, that's the first one I pulled up. I can see it said, well, oh, went away. Okay, but we'll pick, we'll pick some for you. But it's Relationship Cards, okay. So... This is what we're going to pull together towards the end, okay? And we want to make sure that we say a happy birthday to the Libra and the Scorpio friends, okay, for this October. And uh, uh, let's see, uh, Libra's mantra is, I balance. But hold on, I think Scorpio's is creation, I create. But anyway, saying happy birthday to everybody out there. So... I, I'm really looking forward to this reading, you know, as Libra is my rising sign. But I'm curious to see how it's going to come through, because here we have the balance. I brought it up. Balance, are you going and receiving an equal measure? If you tip the scales too far one way or the other, your life falls out of alignment and priorities get mixed up. Come back to the middle. Okay, so... Balance is all about it. And you can see she's holding the Libra scale there. And literally in, in the Zodiac, um, usually they're all represented by animals, okay? Like I'm a Pisces sun fishies, right? But Libra is the only sign uh, where it has a, an object, okay? But this talks about justice, the balance. You know, when we see that scale in the law, we know, you know, that's a big thing to concentrate on okay so this is known as the balance so we're going to stick this back in the deck here or is this this one yeah okay so these are the relationship cards so i'm going to stick this card you can see by the pictures okay so i'm going to stick it back in here okay for balance and then faith and i've had faith and hope here faith and hope are living things i don't know if you ever followed edgar casey he was the known as the sleeping prophet he I've followed him since I was in high school. I just find what he has done and and his in Virginia Beach is where he has his huge 
uh, library of esoteric wisdom. And it's just fascinating, all fascinating to me. But faith, trust in faith and hope. He says they are living things. Okay, so, and when we pray, we don't pray for inanimate objects, right? We pray for to bring us proper for a source in our lives, okay? What touches our soul the most, all right? And that's known as the alchemy. And of course, we have faith in Father God and, and the beautiful ones you, you adore, okay? Because, you know, I was raised Catholic, so yes, I, I believe in that Jesus is here and I just pray he comes forward soon. Okay, so again, love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, balance, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment, okay? Right? We don't want to be one of those that judges people on the way they look or their nationalities or, or their religion, especially, okay? We should all just have one big happy globe going on and perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to, okay? So love, balance, and we persevere. All right, just, you know, let's embrace the unicorn power, okay, we persevere, all right, so these are some cards I wanted to bring forward to just sit on the table to represent this reading that we're going to keep on trucking, okay, with imbalance and love and perseverance, we never give up, we continue on, even if you have haters around you, okay, we just keep ticking. Okay, we, this is how we got to do it, all right? Um, life has been kind of strange for all of us in this pandemic. I don't want to talk too much about things like this, but, you know, I, at first I thought it was like a government thing going on, but I, I truly believe now it's, it's like a God thing going on. Like, you know, I said it before when he told Moses to exit the Israelites out of Egypt. You know, and he sent all those horrible situations. Oh, look at this. No, that's three cards. No, no, no. We'll take this one. So, I mean, but I'm not here to judge. I'm not the judge. But this is my intuition. So, you know, we're going to, we have to still hunker down and believe in what's to come. Okay? And, uh, and we have faith and hope. And just, you know. Watch your body. Don't don't go to places you don't need to be. In. You know you understand. Okay, this is we're responsible for our own selves. Okay, all right. So let's see. We go to now the Taramucha. Again, I haven't worked for this deck in a while. I do like this deck. I do. I like that kind of the the artwork as well. Okay, hold on to that. cards by Diane Cooper right in my hand okay all right and then a relationship card shift right in my hand shift if you're wrapped up composing conversations with someone who is not in the room stop <laughs> shift your focus fully to the present moment connect to your joy so here we have the word joy again so joy joy we'll set that up there for now Oh, and there's love right there in front of us. Love. How nice. Love. Love. Focus with your heart on your greatest qualities and all that makes you lovable. Your love for yourself is a powerful magnet that attracts more love into your life. Okay. So, and that's the Venus love. Hablando right now. She's a talking, okay? So, let's set this down here. I'm going to set this up here. She came out. And we'll pull one more at the end. Okay. We'll just. I might pull some more. I'm going to see what time it is already. We're already 10 minutes into it. Okay. 
that's right. I knew I, I wanted to open up this reading this way, you know, for the love and beauty of the Venus vibe for Libra and Taurus, air Libra, Taurus Earth. So um, let's just, you know, move on and embrace yourselves. You know, it, it, we have to love ourselves first in a way to exude the rest to others. You know, when you love and you believe in yourself and you you know, you know that what you're doing in this world is to manifest more love. As uh, Lady Venus speaks of, uh, I think it's wonderful and magical, okay? So, and we're not talking about being egomaniac or anything, okay? We're just talking about spreading that love. Like the love that Jesus and Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene did. Okay, look at this. So we open right out of the gate with the Five of Swords, Air, Element, and La Casa. So here we have some change going on here, okay? And this is uh, this is about making some moves, too. Now you can see he has two of his swords. I love this Thelema deck, but it's it's so dark, the images. you know. I, but I love this deck. I love to work with it. But... He's on the dirt, and there's another person at the background here, kind of bending in front of him, you know, like saying, yeah, you're the man, you're the guy, yeah, uh-huh. But he's got them all there. These swords are his to say, you know, I'm in a, how do you say, uh, I'm in a change, but it's like a, I'm on a physical move. I'm, I'm, I'm standing tall, I'm holding my swords, and I'm, I'm not using them to defeat but I am not going to be defeated okay he's not here to on guard anyone but he's here to say I can take you out <laughs> I can move forward and use these swords and that's the air element right there so here it's like we have this card here saying shift put this over here for the moment shift and it said if you're wrapped up composing conversations with someone who is not in the room, stop. Shift your focus fully to the present moment. Connect to your joy. So it's like here we have the change card, fives. Fives speak about that, you know, moving on, moving on. And you can tell he's ready to move on, okay? And, and he's going to use his thought process to do it, you know, like a sword cuts through paper, right? Oh, boy, look how pretty. Now we have the Page of Cups here. This is nice. And now we have, and again, I love this deck, but the, it's so dark, I can't even see it myself. But now we have the Page, and some people call, uh, well, this is feminine receptive, but the Knight of Cups, uh, the Jesus card, in a, in a playing deck of cards, you know, uh, like you go to play a poker or something. Um, but here we have, the water emotions are here so please my darlings you know go within go within emotionally okay breathe in exhale out you know breathe in deep exhale out be by a body of water you know take those baths sea salt baths bubble baths meditate and you can see that she's not really looking at the fish jumping out of that cup but this fish is bringing, you know, that harmony to her, okay? But she knows it's in the cup, but she's still not, you know, she's a page now. She's young, but she's in the castle, okay? She's in the castle. Okay, let's come back to this card. I think this card has more to say. The two of wands is here, okay? A coupling. So here we have that, what's known like that pairing, okay? And it's two people. And um, with the wands, the wands is the fire. Okay. And this is like you're, it's like you're making decisions. Okay. You have a decision to make. And she sees she has Hawk. Hawk right there, the messenger. So she's kind of listening to Hawk's message. Okay. And that's good. That's we want to keep that balance okay we're talking about that love balance and persevere don't give up okay balance and you know to speak of that balance right the yin yang the black the white it's a duality but 
she's taking note that the hawk is sending her a message okay so pay attention you know especially if you're outdoors and you see the birds the birds speak a lot and oh my goodness my little birds haven't come yet to feed i fed them this morning i don't know where they are god bless them usually they, they come right away when especially when they know the peanuts are down <laughs> so i don't know where they are i'm almost going to wait another hour but i figured let me start it now but this is good so pay attention to the messages okay and also the message even though hawk is she's uh, aware of hawk there but the message can give you now ideas to move forward okay so the messages are now being appropriate for you to move forward okay and like hawk and eagle fly high eagle flies the highest but yet these are totem animal wisdom that we need to really respect. Okay, now we have the five of earth. Wow, I don't usually get these fives too much. I got them twice now. And you can see, again, this is pentacles, this is the earth, talking about the coin, okay? But the five saying is, you know, it's time to travel on. Now she is praying, looks like she's in front of a church. I don't want to say she's uh well maybe she is she has her hand wrapped in a cloth so I, we can say that she's uh on the poor side of the life there on the track but you know it's time for her to now she, you can see she's praying okay she's praying in front of a church but it's like saying you know change that change your values okay that money can come and just believe, you know, because the next, the next walk, the next card to walk towards to is six. And that six card is about peace and harmony. Okay. So never give up. On this channel, we never give up. Okay. We believe it. We have the faith. We have the hope. And uh, we never give up. And we pray hard. We pray hard. She's praying hard. Okay. But we don't give up. But, yeah, two fives, that's, yeah, they're telling me that changes are coming. You know, intellectually, change is coming, so, you know, don't think negative. You know, stay positive. And you can see he's holding the swords. He's got them all around him. Now, there's dark clouds here, and there's somebody in this corner, but he's, he's going to keep on going. Okay, he's going to keep it mentally awry, and Earth is going to, she's praying, and she's going to be all right, too. Oh, and three of pentacles now. Okay. So, here we have a three. And we're looking at an elderly man. And I guess, you know, somebody who's uh, with him. And, you know, three speak of that creativity, right? Like the empress. Uh, number three, she's all about create, create, create. And uh, looks like they're building a church. Now, this book that he sees is shows like an architectural plan right there and here's the worker building okay so here we have create create they want you to create okay and here we have this create card right over the influence this water emotional influence with the jesus you know and and when you see a fish that's also a, a, a excuse me a sign for jesus okay i was gonna say a giant sign for jesus but you know it really, uh, the fish is the big symbol of our Lord. What is this now? Did I pick this up wrong? Oh, no, like this. Hangman. Okay, okay. All right. First major con card. We got the hangman now. Okay. This is uh, number 12. I'm sorry, again, so I'm not bringing it forward. So here we have it. And this person is always into introspection as well. Okay. And this is about, you know, this is, this card, uh, speaks of like self-sacrifice you can see he's he's going within all right and these characters right here are, have to go within too all right they're all alone except for this one but this is about creating the coin okay and that's all right people are working it that's what we want that's how it starts but you see every card so far 
And now the hangman especially, you know, you have to solitarily go within, okay? And this is about, you know, going within to find your mystic self, to find spirituality, you know. And, and you got to believe in yourself, okay? You know, I believe in the metaphysics of life, alchemy, is what I try to teach. But where I live, they think I'm a loca, okay? They really do. So I avoid them. I, I'm like this. I stay away. Yet, it's not to say that we can't shift ourselves to love ourselves even more, bring ourselves even more beauty, shine out loud so that the negative ones will say, well, we try to put her down all the time. She obviously has some white light going on here. Okay. And you can see the sun. He's got like a halo of the sun here. Okay. Like, you know, he's going to be glorified. You know, he, he won't have a delusion. Like here, you know, she's still in a delusional little place right there. She, she's, but she's praying. She's on the shift to have faith and hope. Okay. And that's what this is about. And having love for yourself. Love. Love. Okay. Okay. Major Arcana came through. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Before, What time is it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to pull three more. I'm going to pull three more. Okay. From this deck and the Elima deck. I am. Okay. I wanted to. I pulled out all these Oracle cards. But that's okay. We're going to do this again. Because I'm in 20 minutes. And you know. <laughs> like you all say. You know, the videos are so long, but we want to see what other cards can come through with the Delima. Because they're all talking the same thing. It's up to you. It really is. It's all up to you. Okay? Your innate self, your own personality traits. Why, why are you on earth now? Okay? Why did you come here? That's kind of what we want to uh, follow. And then I'll, I'll, pick, I'll get these. Okay, because these are cool cards right here. Okay. All right, but yeah, we, we need another couple of answers here, questions. So we know it's all about going within. Okay. Believing in you. Even if we're all going through this hot mess right now, especially money issues, and go within. Okay. And believe that you can continue on. It's, we're not lost yet, okay? We're just going through crisis, and like any crisis, we hang on, okay? We stand strong. All right, so, six of coins, okay? So you can see now, let me, I'm going to pick up the cards, okay? Now we have the knight of fire and the seven of coins. Okay, so you can see that they are trying to talk to you, to us, about the coin, the pentacles, the earth, this planet we live on, okay? And this was first. And here, the sixes are coming in, because the sixes speak of having that peace and that karmic love. And you can see the man is holding a pair of scales. You know, he's bringing justice to the group. You know, he's saying here, I, I help, I aid, I aid the poor. There's enough for all of us, and that's that's wonderful. Let's hope that more, you know, people start helping those who can't help themselves. And then, but we have the Knight of Wands here, the Knight of Fire, and, you know, he's like a, a badass all the way. He's definitely about being creative, the mental creative. Oh, look at this. You can see a volcano erupting in the background. Okay, fire, fire. So you can see the power that's going to be coming if you just hold on, okay? And, and you know, sometimes the night of fire, he knows he is a badass. And, uh, sometimes they can be, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Um, stubborn. Stubborn. Because in a way... There's the volcano erupting, but he's still looking straight ahead, you know, like, for creation, you, you, you have to be not stubborn, okay? You're going to have to let the mental create, go with the flow, 
and not be uh, like like you know how when young when kids in high school just they're not a, adults yet all the way and they're kind of immature this can be a little bit on that but that he's arrived is awesome he's arrived and he's awesome and you can see some autumn leaves there okay so again happy birthday to the Libra and Scorpios okay so we do have a knight of fire and then we talk about this card a lot the seven of pentacles seven of earth um, this card sometimes is known as failure but I don't see it that way I see it that the only way it's failure if you this is this person has um, is like a farmer he has his trees and fruit grows on the trees and if you you know water those trees and you grab those fresh fruit and you share them and you cook your pies and blah 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 it's a win-win but if you water those trees and then at the end you just let the fruits rot to the ground then that's failure okay so we're not going to go there and you can see he's picking up the coins okay He's picking up the coins. He's got this basket, and that's what we want. We want to make sure if we're growing our beautiful, organic, you know, Mother Nature, wisdom, fruit-bearing trees, we follow what she wants from us. And then it's always a win-win, right? It's called the balance, right? The balance. You don't always have to do everything like people tell you, but... You don't want to fail at it either okay we, we identify with our innate soul okay that's why we follow our birth code the time we're born and where we were born geographically is another beautiful well this is lovely one I'm glad I chose to bring out some other cards because now we have the Queen of Love herself here the Queen of Cups and this is wonderful okay so the queen of love of hearts of cups of water is emotionally involved with us now and you know queens and kings they can help us so much they really really can and you know she's you know the queen of love she's like the mother you know i don't see that she's pregnant here but usually she's the mother card you know the one with the for the children she loves the children you know she's um you know very like sensual and sexual in the respect of emotionally you know she knows her beauty her inner core yeah okay that's good this is good okay so let's keep our emotions standing tall like the queen okay because again these are tough times for all of us and and you know I think one reason I haven't done a lot of videos lately because I've just been, you know, you, you just, I'm just praying. I pray so hard every day, like, please. But we, we just got to keep, keep the flow, keep perseverance, okay? Set, you know you can do whatever you set your mind to. Eight of Swords, let's pick up this one. Oh boy, and the journey starts all over again, <laughs> okay? So now we have the Eight of Swords, you know, how we think. Okay, but eight speak of that power. So mentally, power up. Okay, we want to power up to success. And we want to keep our uh, intellect, like, you know, we, we're going to have success in the balance. We're going to overcome. We're going to overcome, you know, uh, praying that I don't have coin today. We're going to overcome because we're going to find this job that's going to give us the coin. And we're going to meet people that will help us. You know, people are becoming more realizing that, you know, this world, even though it's a cutthroat world we live in, but hopefully this scenario we're all in will change. We'll make changes for many of us. You know, bring us our hearts to alignment. And then the journey starts all over. Right? journey starts over again whether we you know p pass from old age or we died unexpectedly in a 
you know, accident, life starts over again, okay? Your soul will recognize places you've been, will recognize people. That's why some people, they call it the soulmates, because you will recognize that love of your life again, all right? And that's the beauty of finding your soulmate, because you did know each other in a past life, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, nothing wrong with that. All right, so I'm going to turn my head because I know the pictures of these cards. So I'm just going to pick three. But it's just about keeping that balance, my friends. You know, don't sweat the s small stuff. All right, there's no reasons. Family. Okay, let's see. The next card, I'm going to turn in my face because I don't want to look at the pictures. Okay. Courage. That's a good one right there. Leap of faith. See, she's taking that leap of faith. Meditation. Meditation towards clarity. Okay, clarity. Meditation towards clarity. And lots of love. Lots of love. Queen of love is here. Queen of love. Love. Focus with your heart and your greatest qualities. And all that makes you lovable. Your love for yourself is a powerful magnet that attracts more love into your life. Okay? And I'd say the Queen of Hearts is just that. Okay? Yeah. And we do it out of love. We don't... We don't... It's all about love. And we can heal this world with love. I believe in that too. Okay? So, family. And we'll cl close down the reading. What role do you have or would you like to have within a family? Allow your life to find meaning through creating or deepening family ties. Isn't that great? All right. So we're going to find that balance of love. We're going to persevere. We're going to create, create. Okay. And uh, allow your life to find meaning through creating or deepening family ties. Okay. And that's always positive, right? I mean, some families don't get along at all, but yet we can always have faith and hope that we all stand strong with our families. And courage is here. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Familiar ways of being no longer suit who you are becoming. You must take a leap into the new because you have no place else to go. Have courage, exclamation mark. A new life awaits you. Okay, see the sun stars there in the clouds. Again, this is a good card right now to have with us, to take that courage, okay? Familiar ways of being no longer suit who you are becoming. You must take a leap into the new because you have no place else to go. Have courage, exclamation mark. A new life awaits you, okay? And I think that's wonderful. Okay. Now, shows, you know, female, but this is for the men too. This, you know, male, female, <laughs> all same thing nowadays. <laughs> and meditation. I pray that all of you take at least half hour a day, you know, turn off technology, and you can go to your, you know, happy place or if you have have altars and everything go there or outside if you have a nice place in your yard or your balcony of your apartment you know you want earth air fire water and spirit aligned when you go into meditation you know light a candle have a stone a crystal in your hand have a plant near you you know what i mean earth air fire and water spirit whenever you go into meditation i believe in that strongly Renew your spirit by quieting your mind. And now your mind are your intellectual thoughts, okay? And this is what we're, you know, what we're, we were kind of tapping. Simply follow the rhythm of your breath and allow your thoughts to float by. Rest in the deep silence of your own being. Wow, that's pretty cool. So she has the shh, she's saying shh, quiet time. Renew your spirit by quieting your mind, simply follow the rhythm of your breath 
and allow your thoughts to float by. Rest in the deep silence of your own being. Okay? So that is lovely to end the reading. Embrace your loved ones. Keep that balance. Have that courage. And even, so go into this meditative time. And then always keep pen and paper journal ready. So that when you come out of your meditative time, if you have a word, a phrase, or you want to draw a little picture or something, you go for it, okay? They want us to go for it. They want us to start anew, okay? It's this new journey, a new journey we're all on. Because we're all going to, I hope after all this, we're going to love each other even more. Because life is so short. Life is short, my friends. So keep the balance. Persevere in love. Love heals everything, my darlings. Everything. I love you all, my friends. Take care. Ciao.